I'm uh, uh, doing okay regarding physical recovery. Psychological recovery, it's very hard. Sorry. It's been one month since Kanan Abdul Hamid and his two friends survived a shooting Thanksgiving weekend in Burlington, Vermont, in what may be a possible hate crime. Dealing with the aftermath of the shooting has been tough, but he adds the war in Gaza weighs even heavier. It's very hard to process the shooting when uh, your psyche is all really focused on what's happening in Gaza and Palestine. It's very hard to witness a blatant genocide in our modern times. Kenan is visiting family in the Bay Area on break from college for the holidays. The night of the shooting, the three were headed home, speaking Arabic, wearing kufayas, the traditional Palestinian scarf, when they were shot at close range. Kenan had minor injuries, but his friend Hisham of Warthani was left paralyzed. War hope peace charged the full extent of the law regarding a hate crime. The suspect, 48-year-old Jason Eaton, faces three counts of attempted murder. Kenan says the shooting demonstrates the rising anti-Palestinian, anti-Arab and anti-Muslim sentiment across the country and the challenges the college students face. I always felt threatened on an intellectual level. Sharing your truth, sharing your history, sharing what Palestinians have experienced for 75 years of oppression could get you in trouble, usually due to rash actions based on ignorance by others. Kenan was born in the U.S., raised in the occupied West Bank. Having experienced Israeli occupation firsthand, he says he will likely remain in the U.S. after graduation. He believes in a two-state solution, but thinks the chances for that has been slipping away even before October 7. I see the Israeli state doing like it usually does and occupy territories against inter blatantly against international law and continue to encroach onto the West Bank. Kenan knows the three of them are lucky to be alive. He says the path to healing will be long. He knows that what they wear and how they talk make them targets, but he says he's not going to hide who he is. I'm always going to represent Palestine, and I hope uh, these events don't deter other Palestinians to still be proud of their identity. Ansar Hassan, ABC 7 News.